All right, guys, so I do want to show you a lot of gameplay today featuring that fort battle because, you know, there's so much fun involved when it comes to PvP gameplay. But before I do so, I just wanted to talk about, because I've heard a lot of people on the New World forums and New World Reddit talking about how there's not enough PvP in the game. So, you know, Outpost Rush is something you can do at level 60. Unfortunately, it's disabled right now. So, right, another PvP, uh, you know, mode that you cannot take advantage of. And you can't take advantage of war, by the way, if you're you know, too low of level and these guys just probably want their best chance of defending. So they'll probably take all the level 50 plus or 60, 60s only, or, you know, you'll, you'll see that kind of stuff going on. And so all those level 25s, 35s they can't do anything besides open world PVP, which, you know, sometimes they'll get into a fight of a 25 versus 60. Good luck as a 25 taking on a 60. What I want to tell you guys though, is there is a great opportunity with forts locking. I want to kind of explain the PVP clips, why there's so many people coming to that fort. So after war is declared on a city, you'll see a big thing that comes across the top of your screen saying war has been declared by whatever to whatever and uh, just telling you basically all of the details. So you can see that right now Everfall is locked. The Citadel Everfall is locked by the Covenant. What you'll find is after war is declared, there is 10 minute window for people to actually go up there and contest the fort. After that 10 minutes is up, the fort is locked and whoever owns it will actually remain owning it up until an hour after the war is over. And that's why you'll get so much conflict because there's forts like Monarch's Bluffs that give you lower fast travel uh, distance cost, which if you hold that for a day or two is very, very useful, very, very helpful when it comes down to traveling around with Azov. Same down here with First Light. So lower fast travel weight cost, going to be very, very important. I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of to, or really as to why there was so many people at this fort this time around. It wasn't because they were trying to push the the faction missions or anything. It wasn't trying to put it into conflict. They already put it into conflict, and then they were trying to, like I said, hold the fort so that they could, uh, like I said, lock it so that you can see here they have it locked, and they have 5% trading taxes reduce or reduction there for the next uh, you know day or two. So that's going to be a huge deal, and I just want to show you guys the gameplay now. I just kind of want to explain how that all worked because I think there's a lot of people that don't know about some of this stuff. Like I said, it's kind of hard. You know, New World really doesn't explain all that very well. They have uh, content creators to do that for them, I guess. So we'll jump into the video and actually show you guys some of the clips now. Like I said, a lot of fun clips in here. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on before we get started. 